subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I'm taking you inside the largest antique mall in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, High Street Antiques. They're located in Plano off of Central Expressway. 50,000 square feet, over 250 dealers. This antique mall is full of antiques, collectibles, furniture, and a fabulous tea room. Join me. High Street Antiques is one of my favorite Dallas destinations. I'm delighted to take you back and give you an in-depth look at their fine antiques, wonderful collections, and some bargains. And you definitely want to spend the day here, and of course lunch in the Chocolate Angel Tea Room. There is so much to discover. And first we'll get a glimpse of some exquisite antiques with my favorite barley twist. And this statue has had lots of attention. I posted it on social media and many inquiries on this beautiful lady. Welcome to High Street Antique Mall, a place that has it all. This shop is filled with vintage, antiques, and estate finds from all over the world. And we will also find some affordable gifts. This elegant barley twist side table has another design element as a bit of a surprise. It is inlaid, absolutely exquisite at $7.95. This could be a nightstand or even maybe an end table in your living space. The Lady Bronze is quite stunning. I know that she garners lots of attention and she's offered at $1,295. And so many beautiful furniture items here today. And I love all of the different eras represented here. Lots of French and English antiques at High Street. This burled wood secretary is absolutely stunning. And that will fit in any room of your home. I've even seen these in powder rooms. And from Italy, we have a group of cherubs. That certainly would be a focal point as a centerpiece. 1195 and that gilt was very popular and it is quite an interesting look almost a museum piece beautiful oil paintings and a handsome pair of lamps with quite the masculine look and this baker two-door chest could go in just about any room of your home it is stunning and i can also see this in an entryway with elements of chinoiserie. It's offered at 2450 And you look carefully at the artistry. Sometimes it's actually Japanese. And it, of course, depends on when that was made because one was more popular than the other at certain times. And now let's walk down the aisle and discover some more beauties, including some cobalt glass. There are also some very affordable gift items at High Street as well. It's not all about the fine furnishings. And another example of Barley Twist. Look at those nice legs. I just love it. $899 and this is marble topped. A cake stand for under $30. This is vintage, it's cut glass, and imagine going to a retail store. You can't find anything of such beauty for that price. A stunning blue and white teapot with stand. This is quite an amazing piece. $125.95, it is a Boch Amsterdam. And you're probably wondering if there's a connection to the Villarain Bach company, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. The Boch manufacturer was established in Belgium by Jean-François Boch, one of the main owners of another well-known company, Villeroy & Boch. 
and it is named Amsterdam because it is modeled after the Delft style. And you'll see that tea light warmer known as a Rechaud. It's all in one to keep your tea warm and that is an excellent price. And if you're in the Dallas area, I think you might want to grab it. And this piece of furniture, at first glance, you see the stained glass and you might think it's English, but it actually is French. And you can tell by the carving there on the bottom, 2,199 and it is oak from about 1880. And it's got four shelves, which would be great for storage, not just for a bookcase. You could house your crystal there. And here's some more useful items for table side serving and storage. And these are great sizes as well. And if you don't have a tea cart, that certainly is something that you could affordably add to your collection. $255, that's an amazing price for the Barley Twist. It's got some great features and a set of wheels. There's some great buys here in this booth, including a Barley Twist tea cart. It's an amazing deal at $2.55. And of course, with that drop leaf table, that helps you with some extra serving space. And this is one of the finds of the day. A cherry wood silver chest. This is something that could be quite purposeful for storage of your silver plate or sterling flatware. And I'll tell you all about it. Well priced at $495, and it is quite a handsome piece. Have you been looking for great storage for your sterling silver or silver plate flatware? This cherry chest is ideal and can fit into a dining room or even breakfast room. And we open this to reveal three drawers. These are anti-tarnish fabric lined. They're perfect for your silverware storage. And of course, it's easy access too. And then here we have a bonus store on bottom. It is priced at $4.95. An amazing chandelier and a quite unusual clock with a cloche. This has such detail and it's been restored in perfect working order. And look at the clock face. It looks to be hand painted. And I would say that that's French. Another look at the chandelier. And I believe this one is actually sold. And if you compare it to retail pricing, you're definitely getting a much better deal shopping at High Street. Gorgeous stained glass lamp, be perfect for your entryway. And another amazing clock. And this has an open escapement. You can see through and it is 1,299 and it is the Victory from Ansonia. And look at that clock face. It is actually from Chicago. It looks to be made in the French style. And a pair of Delft urns in that classic blue and white that we all love. And it is, I would say, a great opportunity to have a pair to balance out a server or mantle. And you'll see the detail there on these ginger jars. 999 for the pair. And they are Delft. Royal Sphinx Maastricht, which I think is its own company. Gorgeous gold rim china with such detail. And from Hungary, a Herand soup terrine, well priced at 200. And now we are entering the world of clocks. We're going back in time to discover some amazing timepieces and some beautiful stained glass lamps along the way. And I really much prefer an older clock than something new that you find on the market. You're getting a really good price. This is a German clock, 1,499. We have a similar one in our dining room in Germany. And look at the detail on those weights. Absolutely incredible. And this is a Hunter's Cuckoo Clock. Such detail. These are hand carved $999. And wouldn't that be perfect for your country home, for maybe even a study? Just love it. And you might recall having seen some of these at the Trödel Center in Germany. 
Let's take some time to look at these antique clocks together. There are so many great examples. Many of them are European. And timepieces can add some class and credibility to your space. It's always a nice addition to your home. And the mantel clocks are quite lovely. I could even see this on a dining room server. And here's another one of the clocks with a cloche. And you even have collectibles inside. 899 cake stands. Absolutely love the pedestals. Of course, you can elevate anything with these. And this has a rum well. It's $38, and I think that is an excellent price. It's a great time to start a collection. And now we're going to discover a very familiar china pattern. A classic Schumann pattern. This is from Bavaria, Germany, in the Otzbach area. This was popular in the 1950s, and it is still a very much loved pattern. The Dresden Flowers Empress. This is 20% off today. And this pattern has quite an interesting history, and it's all in the family. It was started by Heinrich Schumann in Otzbach, and his factory eventually closed because the railroad was coming in with eminent domain. His son, Christoph, continued the company at a new location, also in that area. And that was eventually passed down to their son, Karl Schumann. Isn't this a lovely addition to your tabletop? It's a distinct Dresden influence with the brightly colored florals and decorations. And this is a beloved pattern and one of the most collected from the Karl Schumann Company. There's also an older version that does not have the scalloped rim. Instead, it is straight. And there's also a reticulated one as well. Kaolin was discovered north of Otzberg, Bavaria. And finally, Germany could produce porcelain. And this is one example of a beautiful and beloved pattern that is still collected today from the Schumann factory. And with the discovery of Kaolin, industrialization popped up all over this region, and we still have many porcelain manufacturers in Bavaria today. I see some chinoiserie and a very familiar gray box. Let's take a look at this beautiful crystal and learn more about this special piece. It's like a walk down memory lane with a Waterford Crystal Designer's Gallery piece, brand new in a box. The centerpiece bowl is well priced at $425, which is a bit less than the original retail. This is the Rainbow Centerpiece. It was designed by one of the Waterford artisans, John Connolly. And this is a wonderful representation of his talents. This was designed to take over the former Master Cutter collection, a way to rejuvenate the Waterford collections, and such a beauty. Here's another stunning centerpiece for $245. We don't have the original box. I'm not sure that I recognize this as being from the designer's gallery. I would say that is more of a master craft that came about after 2000. A gorgeous piece and very well priced quite an impressive French curio cabinet with the addition of that gilt design and it's a great way to display your collection. It's a Louis XV curved glass vitrine 1899 and Waterford Crystal is well priced here especially when you consider retail and I will tell you that Waterford Crystal is getting more expensive. They have price increases at least once, if not twice a year. And I find that it's much more affordable on the secondary market. And some more fine furnishings and great way to display some of your crystal. 999, let's take a closer look at this. Certainly could outfit your home. An antique bookcase is perfect for housing your books and collections. I like that they have mixed the two here to add interest. We have done some of this at our home in Germany if you want to take a look at a previous segment. And this is well priced at $9.99 for this Tiger Oak Jacobean bookcase. You can never have too much storage in your home. And keep in mind this can also be placed in a kitchen. Just because it is a bookshelf doesn't mean that it has to be just in a study or a hallway fine porcelain pieces and here is a grand piece it could definitely add some interest to your home 
It's a French Empire mahogany, 4199 A French Empire mahogany bookcase with ball and claw feet. This comes apart for easy transport, which is another bonus. And wouldn't that be an amazing addition to your living space? And in looking at the carving, that is one thing that immediately tells me that it must be French, as we know from the seller's tag. And in Germany, we find lots of these pieces as well because we are on the French border and absolutely just cannot compare to any other furniture you find on the market today. And here's a closer look at those feet. Let's take a look at two collections that are still of interest today. One was made popular by a society hostess trendsetter, and the other is a classic blue and white. It is the most sparkling of all crystals. An amazing collection of American Brilliant cut glass. One way to identify this is it's very heavy. It contains up to 35% lead. It is heavily cut. In fact, the thicker it is, the deeper the cuts, the more the cuts, the higher the value. This was made popular by a society hostess who purchased some of the items in a Pennsylvania Centennial exhibition with all of the beautiful works that the blowers and cutters were exhibiting. And she brought this back home, entertained with it, and it became a staple on the society tables. By 1899, the middle class definitely wanted to keep up with the Joneses, and they embraced American Brilliant as well. And remember this lemonade set with a pitcher and glasses. That's something that we will talk about in just a bit. It was actually quite important in that era. And there were no mold marks or seams with American Brilliant. That is another way to identify this glass. There were hundreds of factories that created the blanks and the cut crystal. This is an example from the Libby Glass Company. Hawks was another one that was popular. And because it is signed, it is quite rare, priced at $1,095 for this gorgeous compote. You'd be surprised at how often I find American Brilliant cut glass, even at thrift stores. With the wave of emigrants at the end of the 19th century, American glass companies employed European glass workers, and they were able to bring a lot of their skills to American Brilliant Cut Glass. I invite you to take a look at a previous segment on the Houston Glass Show, where I meet with lots of experts and share some information about the hot and cold factories. There were hundreds of factories that actually produced the pieces, the blanks, and then many other factories that purchased from them and did the cutting. And it is often difficult to tell those factories today because they didn't always mark their pieces. Although we do know some of the most popular and well-known factories of that time. And this picture with five glasses is the bird pattern from the Victorian era from the 1880s. And look at this punch bowl absolutely exquisite. Also American Brilliant, it is from the Victorian era, 1095. American Brilliant cut glass was a top selection for brides during that era. And in every dining room, you would see a pitcher set. This was a sign of wealth and definitely a staple and tabletop essential. And now we're going to see a beautiful collection of a very popular blue and white. Flow Blue originated in the Regency era of the 1820s. Its name is derived from the blue glaze that blurred or flowed during the firing process. Flow Blue is often considered to be of three different time periods, early, mid, and late Victorian. The early time period was more of the ironstone as this creamer is. And that's something that evolved over time. And then from about 1865 to 1880, it became more floral and nature inspired. And finally, in the late Victorian era, it was mostly semi-porcelain and it was a bit lighter in design. The first time I recall seeing the flow blue pattern was when I was in college and I went to the Round Top Antiques show. And it was something rather new to me. And I remember there was such interest, lots of collectors, and it's not actually something that I have myself, but I would definitely be open to finding this, especially if I'm out thrifting. $3.95 for this creamer, which of course can be used as a vase, so many different ways to enjoy it. 
And now I invite you into the Chocolate Angel Tea Room. We're going to have a bit of a lunch break. While I'm waiting for my lunch, I thought I would show you around. They are preparing for an occasion for Mother's Day. Here they've filled their silver teapots with florals, which is a brilliant idea. You may have seen me do this at the Junior League of Houston in a previous segment. A great way to have a centerpiece with something you already have on hand. And here's a look at the mantle. They are so creative. And I am also noticing Gorham Sterling Candelabras. I actually have these and they're in perfect condition and how generous of them to feature these on the mantle. The tea room is a wonderful experience and I'm a bit too late today for the quiche. So I'm enjoying some of their other delectables. Delighted to bring you inside Chocolate Angel Tea Room. It is one of my favorites and I'm especially looking forward to their signature strawberry pretzel salad. I have a scone, corn chowder soup, just a quick bite so that I can get back to this antique shop and share more with you. A lovely flow blue setting with some fine crystal. We'll take a look at the back stamp in just a bit. Wanted to give you a preview of this with the lovely leaf pattern and the scalloped rim. And now let's take a look at this incredible centerpiece compote. A viewer in the Clear Lake area of Houston has gifted me with a very similar item, 295, and I have certainly enjoyed this piece as a way to elevate a floral centerpiece. Cut to clear in every color of the rainbow. Such a wonderful selection of bohemian glass and even the decanter in that ruby is fabulous. And the square shape is special, 225 in the cranberry and an interesting piece of furniture we'll talk more about. This dealer has some amazing country French antiques that are authentic. They were brought from a home in France back to Dallas as the family downsized, and now they're offered here in the booth, including a panatière. I'll tell you all about it. There's always something fun to discover here, and sometimes we can tie it in with a bit of history. This fringe panatière is bigger than a bread box. It's actually a bread safe. And this would have originally been hung on the wall as this is displayed and to keep it safe from children and animals who might want to nibble on the freshly baked bread. A lovely setting with the flow blue and the tall taza or compote. In looking at dishes or anything for that matter, you want to turn it over and look at the back stamp. It gives us more information on the piece. And this we know is late Victorian flow blue because it has that beading. It is not fully decorated. It is more of a minimal piece. It is semi porcelain. And the back stamp is St. Louis from Johnson Brothers. This is definitely late Victorian up until 1920. The gorgeous green with pops of hot pink. Absolutely an inviting table pops of color and French antiques. This is definitely a country French farm table. And this pullout piece here would have been for making bread. Definitely a utilitarian piece that can be incorporated into your dining. And this work table, of course, has some great use of space. And the drawers at either end are actually sort of standard. Our breakfast table in Germany also has this. 1,495 in that beautiful cherry wood. I could even see this in a craft room. Gives you lots of space. We store napkins in our drawers. And the majolica plates are quite something. And with that centerpiece, absolutely an inviting table and just can't get enough of all these treasures. And there's also a sculpture you will recognize as Joan of Arc. And this definitely came from France, from a private collection, 1095. Jadeite made a comeback for quite some years. As you might recall, Martha Stewart made reproductions and offered these in her catalog. This is before you could shop online. And I do remember that she had quite a few pieces and made it popular again. And that's great for breakfast, brunch, and lunch. 
Now we'll take a look at a very familiar collection. I'm sure you have seen these figurines before. We'll talk a bit about the history and how they became so well known. And this is quite an extensive collection with amazing prices. Even Checkpoint Charlie, which of course was in Berlin before you entered the East. Hummel figurines are highly collectible, and they all started with a nun, Berta Hummel, whose name was Maria Innocenta Hummel, and she sketched these beautiful children in everyday German life. They were eventually made into art cards, sort of like postcards, and they were published in Germany and Switzerland. They came to the attention of Franz Goebel, who was the president and owner of Goebel Porzellanfabrik. He acquired the rights to her art and created these beautiful figurines that we enjoy today. My grandmother had a collection and I remember how fun it was to select a new Hummel for her for every occasion and the baker was a favorite. U.S. soldiers stationed in Germany bought these as gifts to bring back home and they gained popularity in the United States. They are still made today, but the company has decided they will not make any figurines under $100. And $12, $22, these are bargains. We'll take a look at some wonderful teacups. The classic transferware that you're probably familiar with and a floral fluted cup. And the neat thing is that you could incorporate these with white dishes, even if you had yellow plates, you could certainly add a pop of color. You do not have to have the entire set. Her Majesty. This is a commemorative plate for her Golden Jubilee, celebrating her 50th anniversary of the coronation. It was June 2nd, 1953, and this plate was commissioned by the Daily Mail, made by Wedgwood, and it is Queensware. $45 with the original box. Now that is interesting. And here's one that just features Her Majesty from 2002. Love the blue and white. Again, commissioned by the Daily Mail. Fantastic pieces. And here is a china set that I would think deserves a second look. The vibrant colors, perfect for spring and summer, and the price is right. And look, it's dishwasher and microwave safe. Can't get any better than that. Just unbelievable. And now let's take a look at this fluted piece. And the back stamp is gorgeous, a work of art. When shopping for a new dish pattern, you definitely want to check your local antique mall. This Mikasa pattern was made from 1974 to 1996, and it has the beautiful coral, blue, and yellow florals. The most amazing back stamp. It is quite ornate, and the price is right on these today. You certainly can't go anywhere and get this many dishes for $150.95. And inside the case, this is near the tea room, there is a lovely tea set. It's $2,000. It is Wallace Sterling. Absolutely incredible. This is on my wish list. I have lots of silver plated tea services, but I do not have Sterling. I do have a Sterling pitcher that I quite enjoy, but that is something I look forward to someday. And the Pyrex collection, this is a really neat booth and I'm gonna show you around and tell you a little bit more about the history of Pyrex. Pyrex is highly collectible, even the older patterns, partly because of nostalgia, but also the durability. When you're shopping for Pyrex, you want to look at the bottom for the logo. If Pyrex is in all caps, that means it's the older, heat resistant, more durable, made of borosilicate glass. The newer ones are made of soda lime glass and not quite as heat resistant. Reese's Pieces. This booth owner has been here for years. They always have some amazing Pyrex. Pyrex made over 170 patterns from 1956 to 1983, all with whimsical names. And fun fact, the US Army asked for them to make something that they could use in their kitchens that could be thrown against the wall and would not break. 
and that is how the opalware was designed. Franciscan Desert Rose is a pattern that my mother had, and it has quite an interesting history as well. Beautiful colors, many ways to incorporate this into your tablescape, and it pairs very well with depression glass. And there are some different eras of back stamps. We'll take a look at those as well. And this is an extensive collection spanning many decades. Franciscan Desert Rose premiered in 1941. It is one of the best-selling casual tableware patterns, and it was a refreshing contrast to the European bone china. There are several eras of back stamps that we find with the Franciscan. And in this mug, we see the original, Gladding McBean and Company from 1934 to 1962, Franciscan earthenware. They later sold to Interpace, and you see that logo from 62 to 79. And this is one of the newer ones here on this salad plate. Franciscan made in England, and that's because the Wedgwood Group purchased them. And the apple pattern you probably recognize, this was actually introduced a year earlier in 1940, also made in California, and they purchased a company to make the glasses, Tiffin Franciscan, and that's perfect for so many seasons. It reflects the beauty of California's apple orchards. Very well prized. Lots to discover here today. And you see that I found some wonderful items to take back to Houston. I'm so glad you joined me today. Lots of sparkly items as well. So glad you joined me today for the High Street Antique Mall. I found lots of treasures, excellent prices on the Waterford Crystal, and this cross-stitch piece, the Alamo, for my daughter Mary Catherine's 21st birthday. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with antique shopping.